Snap Camera has officially shut down. If you're late to the party, Snap Camera was a program that allowed you to use any Snapchat lens within OBS or Discord so you can have fun filters for your stream. And now, you can't use it. Snapchat has officially taken it offline as of last week. You can't even download the installer anymore. It just takes you to the new Snapchat for web, which sucks and isn't even gonna work for us. And even if you did have it installed before, you can't even find any lenses anymore. Thankfully, a really smart person named Jaku has created a patch so that you can continue using Snap Camera even after they've taken it down. Follow me on Twitch. This video is probably gonna get a lot of views, so I'm trying to capitalize on that. Before we install anything, I just wanna go through a couple quick warnings. So. The patch that we're gonna install today is going to modify your Snapcam install so that instead of communicating with Snapchat servers, which they've just shut down, it's going to redirect to a third party server that has most of the Snapchat lenses backed up. I just wanted to say that because some of you might feel a little bit weird that you're using some kind of third party server that you're not really sure is safe and you don't really know what it does. And also so you don't get disappointed if the lenses that you're looking for aren't available on this third party server because while Jaku was able to back up hundreds of thousands of lenses, there might be some that he wasn't able to back up and some that get made in the future might not be in his server. So just be aware of that. All right, so let's get started. So all of the instructions today will be coming from the GitHub link down below and all the instructions are already written there, but if you're anything like me, you hate reading or you just don't know how to. The first step is you're going to need to obtain the original Snap Camera installer for version 1.21. Now, unfortunately, Snapchat already took down the link, so you're gonna have to source that yourself from some third party. I'm gonna leave a link down below to where you can get it. I'll leave multiple just in case they take one of them down. Just make sure that the version you get is version 1.21. If it's any other version, it's not gonna work. But no matter how you obtain the file, please make sure that you have verified that you have the correct file because there might be some malicious people out there trying to scam people from this whole situation. You can do that by going to this website, uploading your installer and making sure that the output matches exactly what you see on screen right now. If it doesn't match, do not install the file. You don't have the correct file. After you've verified everything, go ahead and install it and then open up Snap Camera. And this is what you should see. You should see none of the lenses here. Everything should be blank. And again, that's because Snap Cam has taken the servers offline. So what we need to do now is replace our Snap Cam install with with a patched version. Now, Jaku can't give you a download link to that because legally that would be a really bad idea for him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this website here, search for our snapcamera.exe file, which you can find in this directory here, and then it's going to patch the file and then you're gonna download it back. Then you can go back into the original Snapcam folder and replace the original snapcamera.exe file with the patched version. Now, I would highly recommend that you rename the original one just in case you need it for later, and then rename the new patched one to snapcamera. Exe. And that's it. You should be able to open up Snap Camera now and just use it exactly the same as before and search for all your lenses. Now, if for some reason you still can't see your lenses here, then A, you did it wrong. So that's your fault. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not in your house. Or B, you followed my previous video on how to back up your Snap Cam lenses and you added a firewall rule to block access to the Snapchat servers. So if you did that, you're gonna have to go back into your firewall and delete that rule that you added. But yeah, it should work pretty much exactly the same as it did before other than the fact that, like I said, some of the lenses might not be there. Now, in the original video I did on Snap Camera, I showed you that some lenses were locked, like Snap Cam didn't allow you to use them within Snap Camera, but if you pasted the URL to the Snap Code, it would reveal that lens. For example, the My Twin lens was not available unless you use the URL. Well, uh, yeah, that doesn't work either anymore. But luckily, Jaku was able to back up even some of the locked lenses. So if there was a particular lens that you couldn't use before because Snapchat had locked it for whatever reason, uh, you might be able to find it now. So just type it in the search and see if it's there. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, this video eight minutes yet. I wanna put mid-roll ads in this. Just a couple final suggestions. It is still entirely possible for Jaku to not wanna pay for server space anymore and shut down the project, or maybe the Snapchat lawyers are gonna to come to his house and tell him that he has to take down the server. And so for those reasons, I still think it's a good idea to make a backup of all of your lenses. So 
I suggest that you watch the video that I made a couple weeks ago on backing up your lenses because we never know if it, this project is gonna be taken down again. Also, for those of you that are new to the channel, it is also possible to tie your Twitch channel point rewards to your snap camera lenses. So you can set it up so that when your viewers use a channel point reward, it will automatically trigger one of your snap cam lenses for 30 seconds and then automatically turn it off. So if you wanna do something like that, you can watch the video up here where I show you how to set up channel points with snap cam, but the TLDR is you just set up hotkeys for each of your lenses inside your favorites menu and then you use your favorite stream automation tool like StreamerBot or Sammy to press that hotkey for you whenever channel points get used. And speaking of hotkeys, the hotkeys within Snapcam require you to use a modifier. So you can't just use like F12, you have to use Control F12 or Control Shift F12. And that was really annoying for me. So there's actually a way around that. If you just go and search for your settings.json file for Snapcam, it's located here on screen. You can just edit your settings file and just delete where you have your control or your shift or any of your modifiers and then relaunch Snapcam and it actually just works. So yeah. That was really surprising that you could do that. Anyway, uh, have fun with that guys. I'm gonna go record another video. So uh, go and share this video with your friends. And also, if you guys don't know, I'm on Patreon now. So I've been uploading my own custom widgets there for your stream. So if you wanna get some custom widgets like the one we just released, which is the hype train widget that shows this really cool overlay every time you get a hype train. Uh, yeah, you can get that over on Patreon. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now, bye.